It is now the month of June, so in this video I'm going to be telling you what I did in the month of May. Let me know what you did in the month of May down in the comments below. I uploaded four new videos in the month of May, and the first one was the April 2018 update. The second one was Silence Your Wheelchair. The third one was about the Jason Aldean concert that I went to. And the fourth one was A Bread Knife by Active Hands. So if you haven't watched those videos, be sure to check them out. There will be links down below in the description. In the beginning of May, I finished my 2018 spring semester of college, and I took two classes, which was Introduction to Programming, and I finished with a 100% in that class, and I took Computer Configuration and Management 1, and I finished with a 97%. I did go turkey hunting a couple of times, and I thought I was going to get a turkey both times. However, that did not happen. Um, the turkey that I was going to shoot didn't come in close enough, so I didn't have any luck. However, I am hoping to get a turkey this fall, whenever the fall turkey season comes in. I got in contact with Vocational Rehab, and I got my driving evaluation scheduled in order for me to get hand controls to drive my van, so I'm scheduled to do that in June. I went fishing for the first time this year and I went in one of my dad's boats and we went to this place that we went last year and I've only been there, this was I think my third time going. Um, I didn't catch any fish. The only things that I caught were a sunburn and uh, headaches from autonomic dysreflexia. I got on the boat out in the water at about 8 o'clock and I was supposed to catheterize at about 8.30 but I started getting this headache and uh, I knew it was autonomic dysreflexia, so I cathed and uh, emptied my bladder, and the headache went away. About two hours later, I started getting a headache again, and so I catheterized myself again, emptied my bladder, and the headache went away, and uh, both times I got really high volumes of urine, um, but, you know, I wasn't drinking as much as I was getting out. So then about an hour and a half after I cathed the second time, I started getting a headache and I told my dad that I wanted to go um, back to the truck and leave, um, but we were trying to get my headache calmed down, um, but we couldn't get it calmed down. It was just getting worse and uh, I was trying to get cooled down, you know, putting like water on my head and stuff, but it wasn't working. So we headed back to the truck and we got in the truck and um, I was debating whether to catheterize myself or not, and uh, I decided not to because, you know, it had only been like an hour and a half um, or two hours uh, since I catheterized last time. So we headed down the road, and about, you know, 10 minutes down the road, uh, my headache wasn't going away, and at that time I had already cooled off um, from being out in the hot sun, uh, so I did decide to cath, and luckily we did bring uh, three catheters along with us to go fishing because uh, I needed all three of them. Once again, I got a high volume, and then uh, it seemed like after that day, um, every day was like that, uh, but it would only happen in the mornings. So I called my urologist and uh, scheduled an appointment with him, and he put me on this uh, medication to help maintain my blood pressure so it wouldn't spike so high um, to where I would have a stroke whenever I would get the autonomic dysreflexia because we weren't sure what was causing um, the autonomic dysreflexia. Uh, you know, my bladder was filling up quick, but we didn't know why. So I started taking that medication, and the headaches did go away after that. Um, however, I did um, start to uh, leak a couple times, and uh, after I would cath, you know, it would go away, and I wouldn't have a problem. And then I decided to stop drinking coffee um, because that was the only thing that I could find that I did in the mornings that I didn't do in the evenings. And uh, so far, uh, ever since I've stopped drinking coffee uh, in the mornings or coffee period, I haven't had any more uh, bladder problems. So I am scheduled to have a urodynamic bladder test done um, in July with my urologist. 
Um, so hopefully we can, uh, you know, find out if my bladder is holding up to uh, the amount of pressure that it needs to in order to cap um, every five hours. I went to the high new neon tour at the Ruoff Home Mortgage Music Center in Noblesville, Indiana to see uh, Jason Aldean, Luke Combs, and Lauren Elena. And that was a really cool time because Luke Combs is uh, my favorite artist right now. And uh, I do have a video on that, so be sure to check that out um, if you're interested in that. I did get to go on a vacation to uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and I have never been to Nashville, so uh, that was a pretty good experience. However, there was a couple complications, um, a couple to do with, you know, my bladder problems that I was having, and um, another one to do with uh, the spicy hot chicken place that, uh, you know, we waited for like two and a half hours on uh, this chicken that we ordered. But uh, other than that, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I did get to take a tour of the Ryman Auditorium, which is like downtown Nashville. Um, and that was the old Grand Ole Opry uh, before they built the new one. And I also got to uh, actually see people perform at the new Grand Ole Opry. Uh, John Conley performed, uh, Craig Morgan, Kelly Pickler, Lee Greenwood, Chris Jansen, Darius Rucker, and uh, the final one was Trace Adkins. And uh, that was really cool. We had good seats, and uh, I thought that was really cool, um, especially at the Ryman Auditorium, uh, being that there was so many, you know, uh, famous country music singers that had sang there before. And, uh, you know, I was there, and I'll put some pictures up here or here um, to where you can see some of that stuff. And uh, let me know if you do want me to do a video about, uh, you know, my vacation in Nashville. I did uh, record some footage down there and uh, some pictures, but I'm not too good at the whole vlogging thing yet. So, you know, I didn't want to put it up because I didn't think it would be good. But uh, I can see what I can do if you guys are interested in uh, watching that. But I do plan to do, you know, vlogs in the future, like uh, things that I do throughout the day, like places I go on vacation, stuff like that. But as of right now, you know, I'm not too good with that. So uh, I just need to practice it a little bit. But uh, I'll be sure to uh, look and see what you guys, if you guys are interested in that. I also started my summer classes. I've never taken summer classes before, um, but I'm taking two summer classes. Uh, the first one is Introduction to Database, and uh, that's going all right so far. And uh, the other one is Web Page Design, uh, you know, designing web pages on the internet. But I think Web Page Design will be pretty cool because, you know, you'll be able to design your own websites and stuff. And I can kind of understand now, after this class, how uh, web pages are designed. And uh, so far, that class is going good, too. And lastly, the book that I read in the month of May was uh, Trump, The Art of the Deal. And uh, it was an all right book, I guess. Uh, but it was different than what I expected it to be. In the book, Donald Trump talked about um, deals that he's made, uh, you know, making his Trump Tower and all kinds of other deals like that with his father and stuff. And also, he talked about how to make deals, but uh, it was mainly about talking about deals that he has made, um, not necessarily how to make deals. Um, so I guess that's where I was disappointed at. Um, but I did listen to it on my phone on this app called Audible, and uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, it was the first book that I have, you know, listened to um, on my phone or listened to in general all the way through. And uh, I found that to be pretty cool because, you know, I could be doing something else while listening to the book rather than, you know, having my eyes on the book the whole time. That's what I did in the month of May. And uh, so May was pretty busy for me. And be sure to let me know what you did in the month of May down in the comments below.